Well, here's one for road warriors. Welcome guys. Now what we're going to do is work with some raw images. Well, developing a raw image. When you're on the road and you've got that image, you just need a few tweaks. Here's how you do it. Now import from photos, which of course is where I've got them. Now what I'm looking for is my raw images. And there we go. Now the one I want is the top right hand corner here. Nope, second left hand corner, down here. There's the top left and then one below it, there's a, um, a stream going through a park. Now that's the one I want. And you can see that the image is a little bit to the right there. Now, it's quite bright in the background there because the photo was taken in the dark, well, in the shadow. So let's work on this. Just click the top one there, that's the basics. Um, studio. The exposure, I want to drop the exposure a little bit. There we go. About minus 0 0.56. Doesn't need to be exact, just drop it a little bit. The black point, because I want to emphasize the shadows, so I'll bring the black point up just a little bit, 3%. Now the brightness, I'm going to drop that down just a little bit. Not much, minus 4%. Contrast we've got there. I want to sharpen the contrast up a bit. I want to bring the clarity up just a little bit, probably 8%. Now the saturation, you can see the little red flowers there. Let's have a look at the saturation when I bring that up. Bring the saturation up to about 13%. That really sharpens up those little red flowers. Vibrance, I can bring that up a little bit. 5%. There we go. Everything's nice and sharp. Now that background where the sunlight is shining on the path, mm, let's have a look at the split image. So there's the after on the left and the before on the right. Now you can see it, it's a lot darker there. There's our and the flowers are quite washed out there, so let's move that back over there. Split, no, split, there we go. Now that's not too bad. Now I don't want to move that, I've moved that. The white balance, let's turn on the white balance. See if, no, the temperature's all right. The tint's all right, although we can probably... That's very green foliage now. I've moved it towards the green by 2%. Shadows and highlights, let's turn that on. And sharpen up the shadows a little bit, 5%. Not much, you don't have to do much. And what highlights we've got, let's go with the highlights at 9%. Okay, now, split that. There's the original photo. You can see it's quite washed out, really. But now we've sharpened it up. And that's really all there is to that. Just You can just use that basic, those basic tools. Let's just click on that again and they're gone. Get rid of the split. And that's gone. Now, I want to develop that at this stage. So click on that and the image is developed. Now you can see those two, three... There's a patch there, a patch there, and a patch there of bright sunlight. Um, let's see if we can alter that. So we'll tap the selection. Use the Smart Selection tool brush. It's at 119 pixels, which is quite large, but that's 130 pixels. I just want to click in there. There we go, you can see that. Now I'll subtract a little bit because I don't want that wall altered too much. But you can see the areas where the bright light is. Uh, the areas that I'm trying to, I could probably enlarge the image a little bit, make, make life a bit easier for myself. 
There we go, that's got it. Now that's, it's fairly rough around the edges, but that's what we want. I don't want to refine it. What I now want to do while that's doing that is go back to the develop mode, develop persona, and just that area, the basic, don't worry about exposure, but just reduce the brightness way down of that bit. So it's not quite so bright white. And you can see from there it kind of matches. Before it was quite bright white, but now it's a little darker. Okay, you can see that. But it looks almost a grey. Let's bring up the black point a little bit. There we go. The white balance. The temperature we want cooler. There we go. Now it's still looking a little bit grey but you can see when it's developed and we can go back to the main studio and oops back to the selection studio I should say and deselect it so there it's not quite as bright white as it was down there now there's a blue sign there do we want to leave the blue sign in the car there let's go back here and what I'm looking for here momentarily forgot where it was the in painting brush tool so let's that's got rid of that sign that's got rid of that sign and the parking sign okay now there's some rubbish piled up over there we don't want that in there let's just get rid of that and that's gone There we go. Now the car's gone, the no parking sign's gone, and that's not looking too bad. Now obviously if you enlarge that, and you can do a much better job of it. There's a little bit more car in there. And you could use the clone tool to bring that brushwork down there a little bit better. But that's not too bad. Okay? That's all there is to it, really. So you can take your raw images while you're out on the road. If you've got your iPad, you can clean them up, make them look really nice. Now I can see another car up through the trees there, can you? We could probably edit that out. You can use the selection tools to selectively edit areas like that fence. Now you can see there where I've selectively grayed that out but that's gone that's white originally that's gray afterwards now you can fix that that's really easy to fix it's all a matter of getting the light right and why I haven't done that is because this is an example to show you how it's done now let's go back here it's untitled at the moment I'll rename it hmm first edit so I know which one it is first edit raw okay and save it now if I want to come back to that image that's what I can do let's export it as a PNG and oops it's generating an export it takes a moment to do that because where I want to put this is back in the Apple Photos. 
There's a lot of work there. There we go, 60 megabyte. Share it to save image. That goes into Apple Photos. I can also, because it's already named, I can export it as a PNG. Now, I don't want it to go to Etsy, ABC. I want it to go to Downloads. There we go. Job done. Isn't that pretty?